So, Panagaria, let me come back to you, sir. Uh, you know, the Niti Aayog is in that sense the think tank of the government. Now, the economic survey laid out a few ideas. We don't know whether the government will finally take them forward or not. One was the idea of a public asset rehabilitation agency, PARA. You've been advocating the need for a bad bank as well for a while, sir. I understand that this is an option on the table. No decisive movement has been taken on it so far. But do you think that this is an idea, the time has come now for the government to bite the bullet? Or do you believe that maybe there is no appetite at this point in time to take this any further than just a discussion? I don't know. I think as time passes, the appetite for taking the idea forward actually increases. It doesn't decrease. <laughs> Uh, you know, about a, a few months ago, Larry Summers was in town and Jen Sinha, or maybe NK, that was you? We were together. Yeah, so, so the question was asked uh, of Larry Summers, you know, uh, whether India should do it or not and should it wait. And he said that there was not a single case around the world when people did this and then looked back and said that, oh, gee, we did it too early. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so you're uh, saying we should have done it yesterday? So, so uh, we, we should certainly do it tomorrow. Uh, uh, we should certainly <laughs> do it tomorrow. The question is, are we doing it tomorrow or not, Mr. Uh, Panagaria? So, so the idea is very much on the table. Uh, uh, but I think there's still, there is still a need to think through exactly in what form one does it. Mm. I mean, one idea that has been floated is the government-backed ARC. Mm -hmm. But there is also possibilities of using the existing uh, uh, you know, private sector uh, 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 ARCs uh, uh, and uh, strengthening them so that you can, you know, have a competition uh, 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 among them okay. if you were to actually auction uh, uh, some of these assets to, uh, uh, through, through the market run process. Okay, Mr. So, Singh? So one needs, to, one needs to work through which is the right idea. But, which is but the right there, idea, but you think but, that... But there is certainly uh, very much uh, active discussion underway. Act discussion is underway on a public asset rehabilitation agency stroke bad bank call it what you like NK Singh let me put that question to you sir uh, good idea you think the government should move ahead now with this because uh, the economic survey said that the need of the hour is to set up this public asset rehabilitation agency to take tough political calls uh, when it comes to large stressed assets. The idea for capitalization is also an interesting one. Use the excess capital part to the Reserve Bank of India to actually capitalize the para. You think that's a good idea, sir? Well, in, uh, well, in my view, Shireen, the uh, point made by uh, Arvind, I totally uh, agree with his view. Which Arvind, sir? Panagari or I'm now talking <laughs> of the Arvind to my immediate left. <laughs> Not because he has left his views, I mean, but uh, certainly I'm, I'm referring to what he said a, a few minutes ago, that I think the time for discussion may be over. I think that it is now time to take and move forward on that uh, with speed. Now, whether you want to do it uh, in terms of an all-embracing uh, asset reconstruction company, or you want to really do it in the form which the economic survey hints at, are issues on which I think that we need to arrive at a decision more carefully. But the point which you made, uh, I do believe that as a consequence of demonetization, it is more likely than not that the amount of dividend which may be available from the Reserve Bank of India may be somewhat recalibrated upwards. Okay. And, so and, it, and, and therefore, if that could be utilized for the, uh, for the recapitalization of the banks, okay. this would be one non-inflationary way mm -hmm. in which uh, it doesn't create a fiscal strain in the normal sense of the term. It does not add to consumption. It does not put inflationary pressures, mm. but you do achieve the objective, really, of recapitalizing the banks. And that is why it's classified as a below-the-line entry okay. in accounting classifications, internationally speaking. And it would be a good time to look at innovative ways for recapitalizing the, the banks. So we don't entirely know what the gains will be because the dividend for the Reserve Bank has been factored in at about 58,000 crores, but you're saying that it's likely to be revised upwards on the back of demonetization. No, what I'm, what I'm saying is that last year, the Reserve Bank had given a, a, a dividend of 65,000 crore, right. and the dividends of it have, have, do not necessarily be at a relationship with demonetization because the Reserve Bank have their own manner of calculating. Sure. If we look at the Balegao Committee report, 
there is also the question of adequacy of provisioning of the Reserve Bank itself. Yeah. So that is something entirely in the domain of the Reserve Bank, but okay. in case it goes up, one very creative use of that could be the recapitalization of the banks. Okay.